everyone, my name is Anna Bean and I am on a mission. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a different type of video for you. I wanted to show you some of the ways that I repurpose old planners and outdated planners in pretty interesting ways. I like using my old planners, the discs and the covers for storage and uh, for special little projects. So I'm going to go through that today with you. And I've been doing this for years. Uh, one of the planners, well, two of them actually, are my first and second happy planners that I uh, repurposed last year around this time, just organizing my materials and such. So let's get started. First, you'll see I have these two mini happy planners. And uh, these were my meal planning planners that I'm going to repurpose. And um, this one I am going to make into a sticker storage book. So when I do that, I'm going to do that on a separate video. I'll tag it below and reference the video when I make a sticker storage book out of this one to repurpose my old mini meal planner. This one I have already repurposed. And I was using a skinny classic in my purse just uh it was a notes, getting classic notes. So I have this one in my purse and I just, it, it's really just too big. So I'm using now the mini and replaced this one. This one now stays on my kitchen, kitchen counter and I can just write notes and they can be messy and yeah. And it's just so pretty. I love this. So this one I repurposed for my purse to put in my purse for notes. I added a little dashboard that has some sticky notes, a little file folder, and it's just full of blank paper. A little bookmark to separate the different paper. And there you go. And I love this cover and I love these clear teal discs. They're so pretty. So that's what I've done with my uh, little minis. This one is an old planner that I've repurposed into using outdated planners. When I bought one of my minis, it was already partially outdated. So I just put the guts in here. I can always reuse this to uh, redate and um, things of that nature. And then there is also my old planner in here that is mostly empty. And it was the first dashboard I ever used. And all the color was just it was just too much to keep up with try to decorate. So I updated to the planner that has this in gray for the remainder of 2021. And then I upgraded again to one that's completely neutral. <laughs> so this is just some extra guts. And I have an expansion pack from um, a budget expansion pack in here. So that's how I reuse this planner. This is my very first happy planner I ever had. And I've already filed the guts away. I just take, take them out and put them in my filing cabinet. But I reuse the dividers. Like the uh, video that I'm posting today is uh, one of the ways that I reuse dividers. And I'll link it down in the description. A little DIY, super fun craft. And in here, it is all just filler paper. So I've repurposed this planner to house and manage or to organize my filler paper. And I put this in here because I wanted to show you um, the, the planning guides, the sticker guides. My uh, bestie Leslie gave these to me and I tried to use them and I didn't like them. I like the wax paper better, but I knew I would repurpose these for something else. And that's what I did in here was I've got all my filler paper and I've got a lot of different big filler paper. So I just used the, <laughs> those pages to separate my different planner filler paper. And it is full <laughs> of paper. I even have some paper back here before I owned any filler paper. I made my own filler paper. I just took um, brightly colored paper, put lines on it, printed it out, and punched it. And then I used this really pretty parchment. Yeah. So 
So that's how I repurposed this planner just to organize all of my filler paper. And this one, this one was my second planner, the planner I used last year. Um, I think it was last year or the year before, I'm not sure. But in here, what I've done is I've taken all my extra folders that I have. Look at this sweet little thing. <laughs> oh, for my son. <laughs> cute, cute. And put them in here. And then I have a expansion pack in here that's a budget expansion pack for my Big Happy Planner. And then I took all my dividers for my old planners, and this is where I'll put my dividers. And because I reuse dividers constantly for Franken planning, and then this way I can go through them easily. Now my planners up until 2021, they weren't decorated in a way where I'd wanna flip back through, through them. I basically just, I, I really did just all my planning. Then I'd stick some stickers down and it was mostly stickers I didn't like because I didn't want to use stickers out of my sticker book. But of course that's changed this year in 2021. Um, so I think my 2021 planner, I will probably keep all together so I can look back on it. And plus I've been doing memory keeping in that plan in my big happy planner. So I'm not going to take the dividers out of that one. I'll probably just put it on my shelf. All right. So filler paper holder, organizer, and tabs, dividers. And now this is one of my favorite things that I've done on um, a D-stash table. There was some extra planner covers. And I love the black and white with the pink. Well, I this one was also on there and I saw the flamingos and the polka dots and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have that because I'm gonna make me a planner for my pink flamingo party that I host every year. We're going on our 15th year this year and it's me and all my best girlfriends. There's 15 of us. We get together starting on a Wednesday. And we stay together till Sunday and it's food and fellowship and swimming and games and prizes. Well, I was using this plant, this little journal to organize the party and make the meal planning and all of that. Well, now I'm going to have a planner for it. Right now, all I have in here is some paper, filler paper, but I'm going to have this so super cute come June. Um, and I'm going to use it every year. Like it's just going to be, it's going to be memory keeping, meal planning, party planning, the whole thing. And then that way I can use it year after year. And when I need to put it on extend, uh, expander discs, hopefully I can find black ones. But I do have some pink ones, but I love the black. Love the black with this. So yeah, so I repurposed some planner covers to create my own little planner for a specific event that I host every year. And this is one of my very favorite planners slash journal um, and it is my Bible study journal and all my Bible study plans. I love the white deluxe cover and inside these beautiful discs that my dear friend Chrissy Starkey um, gave to me as a gift. I love them. Thank you, my sweet friend. I love you so much. She has a beautiful, beautiful website. I will post it down in the comments an amazing person. If you are a planner babe that loves to support other planner babes, she's an awesome planner babe. <laughs> and in here, this cover I ordered from uh, Stephanie, Steph's Design Space, and I had it custom made. I love it. it says you are royalty. First Peter two nine. Love. I love 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 white and gold. White and gold everything. So I love this. Oh, I love sharing it with you. And in here, I inserted a planner cover front and back because it's lined and I can use it as a whiteboard. And I wanted to show you here a couple of months ago, I wrote with a uh, just a dry erase marker. And this is wet erase markers for something like this. If you add uh, some planner covers into your planner to use as a whiteboard, then you'll want to get these 
They are wet erase markers. I think I bought them at Walmart, I'm pretty sure, or Office Depot. And they're like six bucks. So, yay. And it definitely makes a huge difference. So, yeah, I love, 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 love. And then look, even on the back of this cover that Stephanie made for me, I can use it as a whiteboard too. And I'm about to reorganize uh, this planner because it's a bit of a mess. Um, I use it almost every single day. I love writing all my notes. I get a bunch of stuff in the mail. I put stuff in the mail from here that I want to read later. And then, oh, I wanted to show you too. So I don't know where it's organized at just yet because I don't have this organized the way that I want it. And this is the Happy Planner um, Bible journal, faith journal. Let's see, I can't find it. I wanted to show you. Oh, here it is. Okay, so my um, Bible study notes that I type up and print out, I created in Word a guide so that when I type it, I can cut it out and it'll be classic size and then punch it and put it in my planner. I really need to use a big one, a big planner for this, but I like taking this planner with me. And so it's just, it's so much easier to tote a classic size planner. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just cut them, cut them down and then come in there. I've got some dashboards, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reorganizing this planner very soon. I'll probably do it before the end of the year to make it, just a little easier to know where everything's at. Okay, one more. Last but not least, and this one is my favorite edition. I will, um, I'm also gonna do my planner lineup very soon and I'll go through this again in more detail. I'm gonna put gold discs on here. This is my last year's Good Habits Planner. I love this cover. In fact, I paid $50 for this planner on Amazon because it was out on the Happy Planner and I wanted this planner so bad because I was in love with the format and the cover. I just, it's, that's me. That's just, I love it so much. It's so pretty, shiny. Well, I only used it through um, May of last year because the color this one is my new planner. This is the one I upgraded to, so I've already taken the old planner out. But the Good Habits planner, I'll show you. So the Good Habits planner layout, this long vertical box, and then it's a smaller, just regular size vertical box, but at the bottom it has crushed it, progress made, needs work. And I absolutely love this daily check-in um, and it's a goals planner. So it's like, oh, this is perfect for me, which I still absolutely love, but it's, there's just too much color. As you can see, there's too much color on the spread and that just got old. So I have swapped to just a vertical, um, very neutral planner and I love it. So, all right, this part, what I'm going to do with this planner is I take a ton of master classes. I'm addicted to learning <laughs> new things. Master classes are one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to make this into a master class notes. Because right now, this is what I use is just a spiral with tons and tons of notes in it. And it's it's messy and it's not super cute. So I'm going to make this my masterclass um, notebook and I'm going to put daily sheets in here. I don't use daily sheets every single day, but there are times where I'm like, oh, there's just, I need a daily sheet. I need to write down all of my, you know, I just needed a little more planning or a little more space, a little more organization. So I have my daily checklist in here, my master class notes, and then I'm also going to use this as like a brainstorm book. I'm going to punch this graph paper out because I love drawing and um, drawing out plans. I'm going to punch some of this. I'm going to use tabs. 
I've got some of these daily checklists I can use. I'm excited about this planner. Really notebook. It's not going to be a planner. There's no planner pages in it, but a notebook. And then I can move my, I can just leave my daily checklist in here. Check them, you know, check them. Or I can put them in my work if it's work related. Because I'm, a, I'm using a big planner for work. I moved to that planner this year. And I'll show you in my lineup video coming up soon. But yeah, so that's some fun ways to repurpose your old happy planners. I hope you got some good ideas out of this. If you have more ideas, I would love to see them. I did not watch any YouTube videos ahead of time because I was like, you know what? I don't want to take anybody else's ideas. But now that I've filmed my video, I'm going to go look at other video YouTubers and see if I can find other ways to repurpose my planners. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I love spending time with you and sharing with you, and I love hearing your comments. So if you've got anything you would like to share, please do. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would it would make my day. <laughs> you guys make my heart so happy. I love you guys. I pray you have a fabulous weekend and Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. And I will talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.